Hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't already know me, my name is Zara and I'm one of the physios at TBC. So Duncan's just asked me to put together a couple of videos for your exercise workouts online. So I decided to do my first one on core because core is really important. And core isn't just your six pack, it's everything basically from here to here. So it's having a strong back to look after your spine strong shoulders, strong chest, and also anterior glutes and hip flexors as well. So I just thought I'd go through a couple of different exercises that go through all the different areas and working on all those different areas of your core. Um, so you can do them as a series or you can pick ones that you find either really challenging or really be beneficial for what you're wanting to work on. Cool. So we'll start off with a bit of an exercise to warm up and then we'll go through into those core exercises. So starting off, come into all fours and we're going to do what's called the cat camel exercise. So what you're doing is going into camel, you're really tucking your tailbone under and arching, rounding your back up, giving a really good stretch and then as you breathe in, bringing your head up, tailbone up to the sky and arching your back, really stretching through your spine. And then just keep moving through those movements. Really rounding your back. And then as you breathe in, go in the other direction. So you're going to do this five times. Breathing in, lifting up, arching your back. And breathing out, rounding. And last one. Coming under. Now we're going to move into what's called bird dog. Don't know why. So the idea is that keeping your spine in neutral as it is now, you're going to straighten out your left arm and reach back with your right leg as far as you can. And then coming back in and then doing the opposite arm and opposite leg. So the idea is that you're not twisting through your spine to try and balance, you're keeping nice and square and stable by activating your abdominal muscles. And you're going to do something else. So next one we're going to do is a variation of the bear crawl. Um, so usually the bear crawl is coming into an all fours position, making a neutral spine, and lifting your knees off the ground without moving your spine, so you're turning your, your tummy muscles on like so. And usually we would move forward in a crawling position, but what you're going to do for this one is come into a bear crawl position, but instead of moving, you're going to move just your arms, tapping your shoulder, but still maintaining that bear crawl position. So you can do 20 taps each side, that's 10, keeping a nice strong back and glutes. So now moving into our first exercise, which is a front plank. Um, I'll show you just, obviously you know what a basic front plank is, but I'll show you a couple of variations to make things a little bit trickier. So come into a plank on your forearms. I'm coming into a plank position. So with a plank position, you need to really squeeze your butt cheeks and tighten your tummy muscles so you've got a straight line right from your shoulders right down to your feet. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do knee taps. We're going to do 10 each side. Still keeping a nice, strong core, but we're keeping a nice flat back. And down. Again, if you 
have any problems in the elbows, whether to come up onto your hands like so, or if you find the forearm playing too difficult, same thing. So this way is a bit easier. Next variation is toe taps. So again, choosing your variation of plank. I'm going to come down here, and then we're going to lift one leg out to the side, and then the other one out the other way. So out to the side, come back to the middle, and you do 10 on each side. And checking with your form as well, making sure your butt's not up in the air like this as <laughs> you get tired. Keeping it nice and low. And last one. And down. Right. Next variation involves a little bit more chest and arm work. And it's called a press up plank. So you're basically moving from press up position to a front plank position. Like I'll show you now. So coming into your high plank and coming down on one side and up on that same side. And then swapping leading arm. So that's working a lot of shoulders and tummy muscles, much more effective than crunches. You're getting twice as much abdominal activation in a plank as you do in a crunch, so I don't want to see any crunches. Alright, next one, side plank. So this one's really good for your obliques and your glutes. Um, and of course if we're strong through there, it controls what happens at our knees, so really important. So for that we're going to do side plank. Depending on your strength, or if you've got any injuries, I'll show you some variations. So easiest one is on your knees, just coming up like so. If you're really good, coming up onto your feet, just like that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do some hip raises into a side plank, and then I'll show you a harder one you can do. So coming up just like so, into your side plank. We're going to do eight here. The aim is that we're having a straight line again right down from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Nice one. And other side. Again, coming up. Elbow under your shoulder always helps. If that's too easy, you can stick your arm up as well. Makes it just a little bit more challenging, challenging your stability. Okay. Next variation is a side plank with a rotation. So in coming into your variation of side plank and sticking one arm up in the air, you're going to bring that arm around, curling under, and then unfolding. So, again, I don't want to see any folding in your midsection, you've got to keep nice and stable. And as you rotate, you have to do five here. And other side. And 
next one. So now we've worked the front and the side of the body. We're going to do a bit of the back of the body, so your posterior chain. So to do that, we're going to be working on bridges, and I'll talk you through what bridges are. So lying on your back, what you want is your knees bent with your feet reasonably close to your hips, but not touching, and arms by your side. So what a bridge is, is when you're lifting your hips up to the ceiling, so you're making a nice bridge from your shoulders down to your knees, and your feet, and then back down. And it's really good exercise for working the glutes and the hamstrings, and a bit of your back extensors as well. But we're going to make that more challenging because that's far too easy. So what we're going to do is come up. We're going to straighten the right leg, lift that up to the ceiling, and pointing and lowering. And through that movement, I want you to make sure you keep your hips up by really squeezing your butt cheeks and not letting them drop or tilt as you do that. Good. We're going to do from each side. Now some of you are going to find this a bit too easy, so I'm going to make it more challenging again. So what you can do is instead of just lifting up on both legs and then straightening your leg, you're just going to come up and straighten that leg straight away and then perform a single leg bridge, coming up and down. So we'll do 10 on each side. If this is too crampy for you, just go back to the abbreviation. And swap legs. Again, for some of this will be too easy again. So you can have your stance foot on a ball. To challenge your stability, and I swear that will make you cramp. And last one. Now, last one we're going to do is called dead bug. So, again, it's really good for contracting your abdominals, which is what we all like. Um, and it's similar to that bird dog exercise we did in the beginning, but it's on your back. So same position in that your arms are up in front of you and your knees, your hips come to 90. And what you want to do is keep your neutral spine, so you don't want it arched, you don't want it flat into the ground, you want it just in the middle. And what we're going to do is straighten your right leg and your left leg while keeping your tummy nice and tight and not letting you, you lose that neutral spine. Okay? So, opposite leg and opposite arm. And we back up. Now, if you start to lose that neutral spine alignment or you're holding your breath too much, I want you to make it easier. So, keeping your arms where they are and just moving through your legs. So a good way to manage these things is by using your breath. So on the most difficult part of the moment, you're going to breathe out and then breathe back in, breathe out and breathe back in. Right. And keep going with the one. Going to do three more each side. Okay. 
Tá bosta. <laughs> and then just to finish off, we'll just do a couple of stretches to work the muscles we've just been working. So, coming into all fours again, and going to come into what's called child pose. So that's bring your hands forward a little bit, and then just sit back, really stretch through your lower back, and lats and shoulders. Of course, for these stretches, you should be holding at least 30 seconds, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just bring you through it quickly. So, next stretch, bring your chest right through, coming up, and arching your back to stretch the front of your body. And we'll wrap it up there. So like I said, um, that was just kind of a quick introduction to some core exercises, but by all means, if you really want to work on your core, I would recommend repeating each exercise for at least three sets um, to get a decent workout, or even just picking a couple that you really want to work on and repeating those ones. Okay, thanks guys.